the flood was started and we people were inside, we don't even know what is going on. But unfortunately, just one person just came in and tell us, yes, water is coming, water is coming. More than 26 years, when we did here, this country never happened to us before. We just see water, just water joint our house, all our property, and many things follow water. One victim, Umar Ewugi, a father of six, says he was lucky to escape alive with his children and laments the extent of loss he has suffered. Here's my mom's room, my stepmom, and my children's room. Here's my toilet, as you can see, kitchen and all those, all has gone. I have lost more than a million because this place alone, this structure is alone. I built it more than a million. No letters you can see now. At least now, for you to set up a building like this, now you know how much it cost. On this very spot where I'm standing, there used to be a fence uh, separating these two compounds with the two different families. However, we can see that the impact of the flood brought down this fence and the floodwaters was able to overwhelm the two compounds. Uh, this particular compound was worse hit as from what we can see and from the information we have obtained, the family lost almost all their property. Other residents who had come around to salvage what was left of their property, say they are left with nothing but to start afresh. Chris Anoru is a property agent and also lives in this compound. He's a resident of this community that was affected by the floods. Chris says that they are still counting their losses due to the effects of the floods. Now, Mr. Chris, what exactly uh, did you lose when the floods came? Actually, I lose so many properties, especially in documents. You know, my land documents and, uh, you know, other people's documents that is, that is under my control. So everything got missing. Uh, I, I couldn't, you know, imagine it happening, but uh, it was a great loss. My trust, my cushion, and uh, so no, that's just to mention a few. That day, my picking, they do, uh, uh, they do marriage. That on Saturday, on Saturday. All my picking, Kaya. Food, when would they cook? We don't already put up for fire. When would they cook or oh, follow what I go? They were all unanimous in calling on government to come to their aid. Till now, as it is present now, there is nobody even coming, came here and asked, oh, sorry, what happened uh, last Saturday, what happened last month? Hey, we are so sorry. There is nothing like that. They don't even care. Maybe there is people around here or people living around here. Maybe there is property that lost or lost human being. They don't care. So may they help us now, all my clothes to May God make me, may they help us. We need an assistant. That's what, if they can even give us a land somewhere else, at least we can move down there. We'll build it by ourselves. Amadin Ui, Plus TV Africa.